So hi guys, uh, welcome back. We just would like to uh, document uh, this uh, little project of ours. Actually, this is not a project at all, but uh, a correction of the existing uh, landscape uh, what we have in here. So, the goal of this uh, project was to eliminate the onion weeds. I know there are different ways to do this, and Probably you can use a weed killer, but we try a different approach because when we move into this house, uh, this soil was already in here for quite so long. It's quite rich, very good, uh, very healthy. We got a lot of uh, worms in here, a uh, lot of uh, fermies. So, but what we do was try to uproot all the succulents on this side up going all the way in there so we'll do a recording right now because we forgot to document this part we made a lot of uh, improvements to this house uh, the whole landscape of this was quite different before but we forgot to document it so this time around we'll try to slowly document it and show it to you guys what we did so back here so that was done last week it's quite night time already so we stopped so what we did we removed oil the oil old soil in there and put it in a container either we'll use that for filling for uh, other parts of the garden later on but not for uh, for the garden itself but probably a filler and we remove the old soil and put a succulent mix in there our own uh, homemade succulent mix you can see the perlites in there and under it was uh, you see a, a simple trick this is a magazine or newsletter that you get received from your mail every week so we use this as a liner so it's quite natural because this will decay later on for probably I don't know how many years from now so that will be healthy for the soil and that will protect probably from the onion weeds that's underneath in there so then we'll cover it that way and then we'll replant some of the uh, old succulents in there and probably put new ones too so we'll see how it goes later on and part of this uh, we tried to correct these uh, pebbles in here too so see that part uh, i've done that area already so i shoveled everything and put some plastic cover underneath and so that because this part had a lot of weeds as well so probably the one who did the landscape in here they just uh, didn't think of this they just put these uh, pebbles straight away so that it looks nice but the challenge was maintaining it because the weeds are popping out every year so every season there are different type of weeds keep uh, popping up and now we try to correct that and showing the gutters as well that was covered with soil before so this is the part that uh, partially done and i'll continue to the end of it and also uh, we did this uh, uh what do you call this a planter area uh, i haven't put a wood or a brick in this one but we removed the pebbles from this wall and place a lot of succulents so that's uh, been there for probably a few months now or a month uh, we've been quite busy in the garden 
so sometimes we forgot to document it and share it with you guys so let's see we got the different height echeverias ioniums uh, echeverias in there sediverias and cotyledons as well Casulas and right now it's autumn so we're hoping that they'll survive and because they are in the wall and we got a, a roof a little bit of roof in there so I hope that we'll protect it from the frost and we'll see how it goes so this is uh, if you watch the previous video or the earlier videos before this is our front yard and a lot of changes uh, actually every week we try to move my wife usually move the plants from time to time uh, she just love arranging things depends on the seasons and the weather how it goes so keep moving it and we'll keep improving the garden so this is always a uh, constantly moving our plants so they are not quite a bit static some of these will be uprooted soon and we'll put the new ones in there and some of them are growing big already so even these uh, pebbles in here was we just place it here because we uprooted uh, most of the old uh, plants that are non-succulents we tried to put succulents in there while well, the consideration was one succulents are a little bit of less maintenance in terms of watering them so we don't worry that much if we forgot to water the plants and secondly they keep growing and you can have more of this every time you try to cut the stem or remove the leaf and they'll just keep growing and growing and multiplying so that's the best part of these uh, succulents so if you have uh, comments or questions just uh, put it down below and we'll try to answer you as much as we can and have a few discussions and probably you can share your technique as well and see that uh, in there we try to move that uh, succulents here this is from a different spot and today we just move it around the Japanese uh, maple tree so the Japanese maple tree is putting a show already it's getting red uh, it's autumn here in my place by the way I live in Australia so it's quite a little bit uh, hot and cold already it's autumn and next month will be the start of winter and that means to say it will be much colder and most of the succulents will be on its peak on colors so it will be quite a stressful time for the succulents and when they are stressed they're showing their bright colors actually even on uh, autumn the colors are showing up uh, this part you haven't seen this before this is uh, our project and we remove those uh, box plant and clear it probably remove two or three box mature box plant and instead put an opening to the landscape here and put some wonderful succulents so this has been for quite a few months already and when we planted this succulents here they are just babies and now they're really gone wild and big looks amazing and the challenge for me is uh, on the winter time because 
this is exposed and when frost will came and visit us oh, that will be a big challenge I'll cover this with a frost cloth probably I'll show that technique later on the videos uh, as we document our succulent journey so thank you so much hope to see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe on our video bye